good. Oh. I can tell you right now that the, the parts that they used feels really, really high quality. Hi guys, welcome right. back to Jenny JR Vlog. And today we have an unboxing of the. Actually, it's a surprise for him, and then and then we'll talk about it. You ready? Yeah. What is this? This is for JJ. It will be his very first hobby grade RC car. He's had multiple toy remote control cars, but this will be the first hobby grade one that he gets. So, <gasps> what is that? What is it? What is it? So, uh, good packaging. Shout out to Summit Racing. Yeah. Bam. Yeah. The Everest 10. Yeah. So we went and got the blue one. Like I said, this will be his very first hobby grade. It's a crawler, so it's not meant to be fast. It's meant to climb rocks and hills and all that stuff. And I feel it's perfect for someone his age. You know, he's just... He, he's pretty good for his age, in my opinion. So I know that he, this is going to be no problem for him. Maybe a faster car next time. But for now, I chose this one because I feel like the Everest can handle most of the trails that we walk on. You know, I just want him to have something. I just want him to enjoy our walks more when we walk these trails around here. And I feel that this vehicle can handle pretty much any trail that we do. So I'm excited to go on a, on a walk with this vehicle. Let's uh, open this puppy up and see what's inside. Oh wait, first we should wrap it and what comes up. Alright, so the Everest 10 is a one-tenth scale brushed electric four-wheel drive rock crawler and it's ready to run off the box so you don't have to assemble anything. You know, growing as an 80s babies, uh, I remember you had to assemble your radio controlled cars, man. Those were the, I don't know, good old days or bad old days because uh, I needed help with a lot of that stuff. So it's nice that nowadays companies like Red Cat and all these other companies, they make their cars, a lot of their cars available RTR, you know, ready to run. Uh, here it goes. JJ, open your car. This is yours. Here, check it out. Ready? Pull, 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 pull it up. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You gotta take. Alright, in the box, instruction manual and something that looks like it extends the, I guess, the transmitter? This is pretty tough in there. Bam. Bam. Alright, the wheels are a lot larger than I expected. Um, I thought this, we just got this one not too long ago. The arm is sitting. And I, I'm like pretty new to the hobby, so. This is the V3 BLX S3. And I thought the wheels were big, you know. I'm a noob to this, and I see the wheels on this. Wow, you'll see a comparison here shortly. Give me one moment. Let's take it out the box. And now we can get jiggy with it. Oh, it's going down. I don't suggest you unbox it this way, but I'm going to. Damn. So the clips are here. I can't wait to lose these. There's already one that came off. I went with the blue one only because the one that I have, this one's for me, it's red. So I got JJ the blue one. And this is what I was talking about the wheels. Arma Sentin 3V3 uh, Everest 10. Look at that wheel. That is crazy. Bye. Hi guys. Today. Yes, can you see look? Alright, so this is what it looks like inside. Bam. This is stock. I can tell you right now that the, the parts 
that they used feels really really high quality especially for the price you know once again these wheels crazy but yeah pretty high quality parts i feel i can feel the quality it's it's good quality that's what it looks like And here's the battery that I want with. It's really not that much better, but you know, it's higher milliamp. And yeah, it's not the smart ones that I have on, on the Sentin, but I'm not trying to, you know, I don't need all that craziness on this one. This is JJ's, you know, he's just gonna be cruising and hopefully not getting stuck in a lot of uh, the terrain that we're gonna be walking on, all the trails that we're going to be traversing. All right, guys, real quick, let's see what the radio is about. Like I said, I'm a newbie to the hobby, so I don't have much, you know, frame of reference when it comes to... But I can tell you right now, this don't feel cheap. That's what it looks like. This is what the remote looks like. This is, I guess, if you want to go run in snow or rain, Okay, I'm about to break this. Okay. That's everything you need in there. The steering reverse, the bind, throttle reverse. Status, steering trim, throttle trim, steering dual. All in there. But yeah. First hobby grade RC car from my four year old boy. I'm pretty sure he's gonna eat this up. Yeah, it's gonna be easy to drive for him. He's very advanced, advanced for his age. So yeah, guys, next clip will be a run, a climb, on snow. So maybe not a climb, it's just a quick ride on the snow. See ya. Okay, talk about your Everest 10. This is my very first giant RC car. And that's good. You know, it's a bubble. It has a lot of fail on it. It's a little fruit. Not too hard. Not too hard, baby. Talk about your car. What else? And it has air going on it. And air conditioner on it. And what else is on it? And these, uh, and it's all gone Was that a monster truck? Is that a is that a cool monster truck? Check and subscribe. Check and subscribe. You know that. No, we're gonna get closer to me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Uh, I don't know how big that is, but we're gonna find out right now. Uh, the walk of shame.